Good morning, guys, from Glen Helen Raceway at World Vets. We're currently walking up the hill right now and taking our bikes for granted. My name is Dave Scar, and this is D Scar 41. With me, I have the usual Jason Triple Three Spriggs. And we're running out of breath. So, it is currently. 6.22 in the morning. Holy crap. Ugh. And practice doesn't start till 7.30. But right now we're just kind of walking around and uh, kind of getting feel for the track. We are in the very back section right now, if you can tell. It's that way. So, I'm obviously not racing, I'm just here to help and support him, and uh, how do you feel about today? I'm tired. <laughs> we woke up at uh, 4.30 in the morning, so yeah, a little bit sleepy. <laughs> Kinda. It's like the divot thing that you're telling me about. And that's not really a jump either. That, I don't know, not anymore. Thing. Kind of. I do it. You aren't pressed to stop the turn. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, this is like a jump almost, too. Yeah. I don't know, they're like, it's like a weird, because just like this, it's like a, it's like a roll, not like a lip, per se. Yeah, it's full practice. Yeah, this is what we're talking about. So in a few minutes, he's going to get ready, get his bike ready to make sure. We worked on it a lot last night. I changed his rear tire, he put graphics on, fresh new look. Well, not really new. <laughs> okay, fresh look. It's the same set. So, we'll see you guys on the starting gate of practice. So, Jason just got done with his first practice. There are, he is race number seven. There are 28 entries in his class. He's up against 28 people. I'm just walking back to the pit now. How was it out there? Yeah. Buddy, buddy. So you, um, you race number seven and you have 28 people in your class. I took a picture of the schedule for you. So yeah, he, he's, not, he's not happy out there. I can tell by his face. I can, I can already see the track deformation sitting on the sidelines already. And we haven't even got to the races yet. So this should be interesting.
staging. Getting ready for his first moto. They are red flagging the race just right before us. Somebody went down in that turn over there. A lot of people went down. At least like five or six. So we're gonna have to sit here for another minute. Then we'll get him on the gate and send him on his way for his first moto. You ready? It's a big event. The track's already pretty beat to hell, so should be interesting. I'm excited to see how he does. Blingy helmet. Shark helmet. That's it for Moto 1 for Jason. I think he got 13. We don't, uh, that's what I counted. We gotta check the official results. He looked good and smooth out there. He was telling me that there's some parts that sketch him out. I could see that. There's the breaking bumps on the main hill start so early. You know that, 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 uh, that wall thing in the back? On top of that, it's just that little hole bud like that. Did it? Yeah. It's in the shade still. <laughs> and they keep putting water down on it. So, so yeah, the brake bumps are all the way up there. So basically, you're riding down all braking bumps. And then watching him, you know, there's and other people, there's a lot of weird lips. They're, they're like boom. Um, there's like cup down on all it. Yeah. How about are the ruts? In corners. There's not a whole lot. There's like none really. Really? There's some like right before the uphill. 
the left hander to some there. It's like one or two in this right hander over here after the finish. But other than that, it's all kind of just like that sandy low. So that's not bad. It's just getting in and out of the corners hard. Yeah. And it will. There's a couple sections where there's like they have markers on the track. I saw that. The little pink things. Not such that, but like. Uh, there's like this, that uh, water barrier right here on the bottom of the hill that makes the right-hander. Oh, yeah. And if you're not careful, you'll hit it with your handlebar. Oh. Like, I clipped it once. <laughs> on the, is it on the outside? No, it's on the inside, because oh. it's like leaning over, so you're like leaning into it and you clip it. Oh, gotcha. And then, same with that back section, there's a couple over there where it's like, same thing, if you're not careful, you'll just clip the side of the track. So I know I clipped it once or twice with my handlebar with my cars. So we'll it go. Is, it is beat up though. Yeah. So we'll go check the results, see what he actually got, and then uh, they're gonna do Mitch Payton's um, lifetime achievement thing. Die Edison, lifetime achievement award. Like that yeah. at 12 o'clock, and then they're gonna pick up from there. Uh, again, he's been race seven, so we got we got some time now. Yeah, a little bit of time, yeah. So we're just gonna sit here and eat, stay hydrated, and get him ready for the next race. Got done watching uh, Mitch Payton accept his Edison Die Lifetime Achievement Award. So big congratulations to him. He ended up getting 13th after all, 13th out of 26. Yeah. Like There's 28, but uh, two did uh, didn't finish. And then our other friend Taylor got second in her class, which is women's intermediate. So good job to her too. Uh, they're just about to start race 13, and then it's gonna go back to race one, and he's race seven. So we got a little bit more time to kill, and go watch other people race. We'll probably, I'll watch Taylor again and get some more footage of her. All right, so Taylor's last race of the day. You ready for this? No. No. <laughs> that you sound like just like him. You're always very like negative on the start line. No. Yeah, this just At least you're saying something, he never says anything. And then every time I give a fist bump good luck, he always uses his helmet or he just does that. I'm like, awkward. We'll see. She, she got, two wheels. Yeah, she got second, she's gonna go fast, she's not gonna crash, she's gonna beat 124. Dude, this is just a huge ass one.
Photo of the day, you ready for this? I know the answer, yeah, no. So they cut out the, one of the hills because you're going right up the, to the sun. So I guess that makes it a little easier. It's 2.30 just about. It already feels later because it's time change. It's starting to cool down. Nice weather conditions. The only thing the track is beat to hell, but everything else is good. He's got this. He's got this. does it for the day he ended up getting seventh in the second moto got a better start the dude that one guy passed me on the last corner <laughs> yeah he was he was six for the for the most for the, the longest last time. lap i was six and then i was trying to keep ahead of him and it came he tried I to still block gotta, i got a medal i was getting to that it's cool it's, it's shiny and it's real metal. I bit it to, to double check. I know, just kidding. So, so yeah, he actually ended up, so he got a 13th in the first one, a 7th, which makes for an 8th overall, and you actually the last person to get a trophy in your class. I just barely got one, yeah. And then he got a participant sticker. Oh, I got everyone at that. Except, yeah. Well, everyone that signed up got that. Yeah. Everybody signed up. So now we're on our way home. It's 4.30. And the time change is kind of screwing with me right now. Yeah, that doesn't seem... <laughs> no, no, just like, because it, it feels so much later. So I'm proud. I was happy to be here. Except for the last part when you waited like 40 minutes for a freaking picture. I was getting kind of cranky. And Jason's very cranky right after his race. Like, you can't talk to him for like the first 20 minutes. So if you're ever, if you're ever with him, don't approach him right after a race. 
That, that's just advice. Unless I didn't get. No, not even that. Because you did good, and you're just like, get on the bike. And you're like, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm like, sorry. Dying. That's his excuse. So like, if you want to interview him too, or say, hey, you know, you did good out there, or hey, I like your YouTube. Just wait, like no. 20 minutes after the race. It's, it's better. Well, Lizzie, do you want to ride back at the wreck or not? <laughs> I was just, I was so proud of him. I'm like, hey, dude, he did it excellent. He's like, get on the oh, bike. Get on the bike. I'm like, I wasn't yelling at you. I was just, just get on the bike. <laughs> and then when I, and then when I, and then when we get back to the truck, I'm like, dude, he did amazing. And then I'm like, he just like completely like, uh, you make it sound worse. You're amazing. Sorry. 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 What? Go that way? Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. <laughs> well, if you guys like this video, hit that like button. Do not forget to comment and subscribe. Next time you end the video, I'll be riding too, most likely. When's the next race? Like three weeks. It's like three weeks and it's at Paris, right? End of November. So we'll be racing that, most likely, uh, together. So we'll see you there. See you on the next one.